Hello there and welcome to another uh, bringing out the knack tutorial. Uh, this time uh, I couldn't, I f the error with this, there wasn't really an error with it, I just like refreshed my browser and it sort of worked. Um, there was just a refreshing problem from the last video. Um, on this I realised I hadn't put an else. So let's do that now. Else echo and then we'll say um, uh, your password must be between oh uh, there's a space in between between um, 5 and 50 characters okay now when we're in here now we can actually put stuff into our database this is the fun bit really things actually decide to happen now what we're going to do we're going to tab out tab a little bit we can say so this is so if they've put if they click submit if they've put something in username full name username password if their password means equals their repeat password if their username is less than 50 but and their full name is less than 50 if their string if their password is less than 50 but more than 5 then we're going to say input into the database so we do that by saying dollar insert and then we go equals and then we do that I believe and then we will say insert now this has to be in capitals oh no no no, no. what am I doing All right. we say mysql underscore query I think I think that's right oh we'll see insert into and then we say the name of our database. So our database was um, users. So insert into users. Remember it's case sensitive. So users or user? Users. Insert into users values. And then we do brackets and we say um, double quotes like that. And then comma, then double quotes, comma, double quotes. Uh, comma double quotes. Okay, now the first one starts for so this keeps going on infinitely, but because we only have four fields, yeah, we have one, two, three, four. So the first one always means so it goes from top to bottom. So ID, full name, username, password. So we're gonna say ID does it on its own, so we don't need to do that. And here we're gonna say dollar username. So whatever they put into the box um, down here will go into the database like that. Uh, actually, that might have to be single quotes. Uh, not entirely sure. Let's just do double for now. Any errors we can work out later. This will be um, dollar password. Oh, okay. All right, I've done it wrong because full name is first. So we'll just add another one in up here. And then here is dollar full name. I always forget about full name. Oh whoa, and spell it wrong. Alright, full name. Now here we'll close and semicolon. Always remember your semicolon. Okay. Now basically that's that. And we'll also say and now underneath we'll say if insert or or I know. We'll do an or die. So down here, or die. Um, it didn't work. Sad face. Actually, I'm not doing sad face. Brackets mess everything up. It didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's see how we go. This may be horribly wrong, I may have done everything wrong, but let's just see how it goes. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I push six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Submit. Now. 29. Ah, okay, something's wrong in here. Alright, it's probably some form of syntax error. Unexpected T string. 
I don't know what that means. Um, let's try this in quotes. If that has to be in quotes. Ah. Should be a double bracket as well. And then this quote should be there. Alright, let's see what happens now. It's probably going to break still. Alright, let's try again. Uh, oh, constant in caps string. Oh, why are you making this so hard? Okay, let's do these in single quotes. Okay, please work now. That looks promising. Alright, let's try. Um, Nathan, the neck. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Submit. Okay, now we didn't get anything because I didn't really say. I just said it didn't work. I said say it doesn't work if it doesn't work. Other than that, so let's look in users. And browse. It's me. And that's that. Ah. Now, the password. We haven't encrypted the password. Because that's actually the password I put in. So, in here, we have to... You see, I've done password. Up here, we created the variable um, ink password, encrypted password. So, that's the MD5 version of password. So, what we'll do, in here, we will say to input the ink password. So, then, control S. So, we go... Um, refresh. No, I don't like refreshing. We'll do that. Now, one more time. Nathan 2. Uh, the neck 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Submit. And let's check. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the MD5 on. And that's that. So now users can be added to your database. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, next tutorial, um, we will be... Uh, we will be making it so you log in. So you basically will look up this, find this, and then make sure they're the same, and then take you to a page. So, yeah. Cool. Till then. Goodbye.